Do you like demonic thorny dragons, mega kaiju bosses, or just modded stuff in general? Or do you just fancy some standard vanilla arc with some quality of life changes? Well, then my partnered server hosting company, Nitrado, is just for you. If you want to host a server and surprise your friends today, go to nitrado.do forward slash blur and be sure to use code blur10 for 10% off. Remember, nitra.do forward slash blur and be sure to use code blur10 and uh yeah let's get into this video in this three episode adventure we are currently on a path to try and complete as many modded pvp servers as we can everyone's favorite series blur tries random servers and the goal is pretty simple pick a random server from battle metrics select pvp and modded only then log on and get started and try and complete the mod as fast as possible usually i go for raids pvp and gathering dead op dinos that have god tier loot but sometimes we grind and grind and grind which can result in many hours played and well that leaves us here today we will be returning to arc primal eternal one of the biggest combinations of hardest mods you can find on arc if you guys want another one of these challenges let's get 3k likes in 24 hours okay and uh let's go Okay, so sorry it's been a while since the last video. I've had some issues going on at my house, like a flood, a leak, a hole in the ce ceiling. It's just a bit too much. But today we're back anyway. This time we're on Primal Eternal Fear on Spitfire. You can see it in the, in the top left of the screen. Yes, very good. And we're just going to see how long it takes us to complete this server. So let's just go into it as usual, I guess. Oh, I <laughs> see a knocked out giraffe. Wait, this guy's actually taming it, is he? Oh, no, he just knocked it out. Well, that's not a good look. Because that means there's someone around here that has a lot more stuff than me. Is that him up there? Who is that? Is that him? Ah, is that a drone or is that him? Wait there, I need to go check this. Oh, they're just drones. I'm stupid. <laughs> Okay, never mind, never mind. To ease myself into playing such a big mod pack off the bat, I would just start off by going through the mod page and just going through all the engrams and then farming some of every normal resource you can get in standard art. I would then start crafting myself a bunch of cooking pots as they're just a really good source of XP. I would take refuge in this bush whilst I was doing it and then craft myself an eternal trank bowler and this new Spitfire trank spear that I had never seen before. Yeah, it's safe to say it was quite OP. After that, I would start picking myself some potatoes and then chopping up this raptor for all the hide and raw prime meat. I would then head over to any cave to investigate and see if I could build in it and I would discover that it had actually been reworked and someone was built in it. So I decided to go investigate. So after we raided that mini starting base, we had a lot of good resources that we didn't have before. So I started crafting myself some foundations and just a whole base fob in general, including as much of the modded stuff I could possibly craft. I'd also find out that there was this desert cloth set that had infinite Jura and it was easy to do. So I also just made a set of that and then went electronics farming and also polymer farming with the nearby mantises. This meant we would have all the resources for C4 basically already, par gunpowder. This mantis isn't dying, he's immortal. You will be my food, thank you. Good boy. What? This cave's been changed completely. It's no longer like... Oh, crystal. Nice. Wait, can I get up there from somewhere? Yay. Um, They've actually just removed all of the brightness issue here. That's nice, I guess. Another base spot, another empty location. I thought it was kind of cool how they had reworked a lot of the stuff to make it more mod friendly, but we grabbed some crystals and moved on. This is one of the cooler reworks I've seen. They've kind of given it easy access, though, with this ramp up here. I'm guessing it's been made into a crouch point as well. There's no way this base spot is, is not taken. Oh, my God. Am I going to die here and lose all my stuff? Probably. Let's just see. Oh. 
Hello? Um. Well, there's no one built here. I don't even think I'll be able to get back up if I jump down. This is uh, probably not another good spot. You can't really build in uh, bases with easy entrances on Primal Fear. Mainly because people just run a penguin through your base and then you're raided. You need somewhere where you can either spam turrets or live underwater, basically. That's all you can do. And whilst I was parachuting through the canyons and checking base spots, this would happen. Are you joking? And my body glitched? Oh my god, there's no way I'm getting it back. That was one bullet, bro. What was that? <laughs> Where's the closest spawn? Uh, Southwest 3, probably? Yeah, sure. Okay. The, out of all the base spots I've checked, obviously there's one in there for, for some reason. Okay, well... There's, th these are auto turrets. There's no way. Is this base even good? Oh, yeah, he does actually have some stuff over there. Oh, well, we've got our first raid. I just need some stuff to be able to raid it. <laughs> Where'd he go? There you go. Come here. Come here. Oh, my... Yeah. This time I'm just going, bro. I'm just, I'm not, st oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm leaving. I'm done here. I'm not coming back. You know what? Let's just, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. I've noticed that whilst playing, I'm just being given eternal berries. I can't remember if they're given to you as a default of Arc. I haven't played Arc Eternal in forever, but I can't remember if they're a default given to you or this server's just giving me like something that can tame decent, oh, wait. Decent stuff. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. Oh. Okay. Oh! Why me? Hello? Oh, that. How's that down there? After barely surviving that meshed reaper, I ended up discovering this little mini PvE structure just around the corner. I could jump in there and break those boxes. Even if it's a little bit of resources, that's still quite huge for me. I don't have much. I'm going to go try and do it. Hopefully I can break them and they're not under PvE or something. And just using my brain a little bit, I realized that I could just jump in through the roof as it was completely open, as you can see. And then I had free range to break into whatever I wanted. Oh, only three damage. Oh my god. Is this even worth doing? Maybe just the preserving bin. If this has anything in it, then I can- So, even with metal tools, these things only took three damage a hit. So, it would take me a very long time to break through them. On top of that, there was just loads of dino activity nearby, so I was pretty scared. But, using this spear got me in a lot faster. Anything? Oh, okay, maybe. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> You know what? I'm more than happy to sit here and break the rest of these. It'll take me a while, but I'll do it. I just don't know how long I'm going to be here for. I probably should grab some berries and get some healing potions. Actually, nah. Why not? After cleaning up every remaining box, not a single one of them contained anything, which meant that the rest of the base probably wouldn't contain anything either. And I certainly wasn't going to sit there and break that poop bin. So I just left the base and moved on. And then I came across this purple drop, which actually contained some pretty decent loot. And it also contained a weird dino box. What? Uh, to be honest, you guys will just see. Man's just got a dino box from a drop. What? Where is it? Where'd he go? Dino? Or this? What'd it give me? Oh, we got Toxic Fiomia. The worst possible thing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not riding this thing. <clears throat> okay, I'm just eating my morning food. I've come across this, uh... Looks like a Baconator Griffin, one of those OP things. With a little turret box outside it. So I'm not too sure. Oh my god. <laughs> that, guy, that thing's a bit OP. And he's got... What turrets are these? 
That spyglass not show. Or this one? Spitfire laser turret. Well, that, that can't be good. That's all I'm going to say. Their base is probably below, but at least we know there's some action this way. After barely surviving my trip in the snow, I ended up finding it being even harder to survive in the desert until I ended up coming across this. One of the red drops that spawn in the desert actually contained a bunch of primal rockets and the primal shotgun that I'm using right now. And as you can tell, this was a massive one up from my spear that did six damage. Remember, six damage. Now, I still couldn't take on any of the bigger bosses of either of the mods. As you can see here, I'm doing like 1k damage. But what I did end up finding was a little stone one by one that could have possibly contained a bunch of loot. Spoilers, it obviously didn't, which I'm very sad to say. And then we ventured into one of the Viking Bay caves that had also been reworked again. And we found another player that had just logged on, kind of got a few bits and bobs and then quit the server. So um, we had a bunch of stuff, basically. That's all I'm saying. We had, uh, we had gathered ourselves quite the collection. Am I going to be able to kill this guy over Damn, this shotgun is so broken. So <laughs> broken, yeah. I think I might just kill this forest titan as well. A bunch of celestial hiders now as well. Is it going to damage me? Ooh! It's okay, I've got like 50k HP. I shouldn't be able to kill me. Pew! Oh, I only do 10k. Oh, that's so bad. Wait. Too far vertically. I'm right here. So, oh my god. Bro just got soloed by a guy with a shotgun. This is, uh, this is a bit embarrassing. Wait, what do you want? What do you say? Tame. You know what? Let's tame him. Gamma Forest Titan. Where am I? <laughs> Wait, where am I? Help! Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, the camera's so awkward. Oh. Wait, can I heal it? It's quite low. Oh, no, wait. Does it not work? Oh, it does. Okay, nice. Let me heal it up. Okay, to be honest, this looks really cool. Like, this guy. This looks so sick. The Forest Titan at night time by the obelisk. With the night sky. Oh, damn. This is like NVIDIA Ansel wet dream here. But I can't actually see any use for this Gamma Titan at the moment. I'm not going to lie. So I'm probably just going to have to leave him. Like, look how slow he is. Like, I just, I don't know. Not really useful at the moment. You can just go on neutral and have, have fun, Mr. Titan. He's... That guy's immortal. He literally took no damage. He, he, he I, I couldn't damage that guy. Unless I think I might be in PvE still. Because I'm the newer one on the server. That's odd. Well. I wish I knew that beforehand. No, wait, they changed this entrance as well. I'm just sitting here like, isn't there meant to be a rock here I can break? Um, or is it somewhere else? Am I missing it? Huh. Right, let's just go around. Ooh. Base that's been raided. <gasps> Hasn't been raided? Oh. Nothing up there. Okay, everything's in here. That's a lot of those griffins. My voice is starting to go. <coughs> Tribal VIP. Huh. I wonder if any of those are unclaimed. They have a tech crop plot as well there. That's duping. Hmm. All right, we know where this base is. I'm going to set up a teleporter somewhere hidden, and then we have access to come back here whenever. I'm basically training these guys like it's Black Ops 2 zombies. 
<laughs> if I get hit by anything, I'm... I'll probably die. But I kind of want to kill this big big man here. Yeah, him. He's dead. Nice. Want to get the weapons out of them all? Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> No! Well, I knew I was going to die. It was just a matter of time in that situation. Okay, so... I ended up taking... Basically the rest of yesterday off after a few deaths. I managed to keep my body and my stuff. But I'm hoping a lot more people have built up. Since I checked the other maps, there hasn't just been many two... Like, people on this cluster. Many two? What is wrong with me? There hasn't been many people in this cluster as of late. Not many people looking to play on Primal Eternal Fear. But, uh, hopefully... Hopefully some people will chose some spots. It's a shame no one's built in here yet. I'm gonna go check all the base spots I know where there's raids, and maybe we'll find something. Taking some time off, I was back on the grind, and ended up coming across this Eternal Gilly set of gear that was extremely cheap to craft, but... It gave me an incredible amount of armor. I think it was actually around 600, and it also had no Dura. So I crafted myself an OP set of that, a crystal pickaxe, and then I had a plan of taming a bunch of Arthropleuras and then taking them over to that base we kept dying on in yesterday. But things weren't as easy as that, as um, Ark's AI just sucks balls at the end of the day. And uh, I tried to get closer, I tried to get in range, and I continued to try and whistle these things with different spy glasses, but they just, they weren't working, and I honestly, I had no clue why. I even went so far as to getting right in the turret range at some dodgy angles to try and whistle the Arthur Pluras on the targets, but... I, I honestly, I didn't know why they weren't working. If you know, leave it down below. But we ended up dying to an Apex Phoenix near after. So I basically just set up shop in the charcoal trees area and crafted myself a motorboat and a bunch of metal structures, which I would need later on to build my base, as I felt we had lived on land long enough now. And uh, we missed this purple drop. But the reason of the map switch is we're over on Crystal Isles now to farm a bunch of poly from the... Uh, the bees nesting. One one of those and we'll be good for life. Yeah, bro. This just does not feel safe. Oh my god. I feel like I'm guaranteed to die if I start farming something. There's so many. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if there's like OP tiers to bees in this mod. If there is, I do need to be careful and not get by hit by any of them. Oh my god. There's Just look how many there are. Now this, now this is training, bro. This is training loads on these. After I basically finished playing Kino the Totem, I went through and cleaned out as many of these little bee things as I possibly could. I'd also grabbed myself a yellow drop, which ended up giving me some pretty sweet loot. And then I found this dead demonic parasaur on the floor, which I ended up harvesting for its demonic hide and all the other goodies. I also got this primal tech parasaur that died nearby, and I grabbed its engram. And then I found this purple elder dino drop inside this box. Different. I gave one of those boxes again. What does this give me? Elder dino box. Bro... Why? <laughs> oh, can I not get something good? Why do I get this? Oh my god. Well, I guess we have something to fly around on now, though. I can't even move. Do I have XP potions? Okay, I have, I have some. Nice. Sweet. After I took the little guy out for a spin, I ended up making myself a little stone bun by one, just so I could go through and look at a few of the engrams I hadn't seen before. One of them was the custom C4 they had on this server, which the top tier of it ends up doing around 59,000 damage to structures, which basically one shots anything in the game. I needed some, so I got onto crafting a bunch. It was very expensive, so I crafted myself some of the archimatic things 
and just like the quick auto crafters that the mods have. I don't know which one they are, but uh, yeah, we got ourselves one of each and in the generator also to make sure it could be powered. I'd also craft myself up this industrial forge as it could smelt me metal passively. And on top of that, this actually crafts charcoal faster than anything else I've seen so far. So uh, yeah, we don't really have to go to charcoal trees anymore. But with more resources smelting every minute, I got around to crafting myself some of the top tier levels of the C4. So we was basically set for any raid on the horizon. I would sit back for a while and just take a break as uh, dying all the time and then just farming isn't exactly the most chilled out of things to do with your day. Well, this is a good time to test out one of these. I'm not going to use one of the big ones. I'll just use a green one, but... I don't know why these guys have just built here. Curious to see what they got inside, though. Boom. Oh, damn that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That was a lot. Ooh. Is he... Is he even here? I can't tell my PC's lagging too much. Anything? Uh, this might just be a shell base with nothing in it. I'll place like one on each side and we'll give it one more look. Ah, uh, yeah, this was <laughs> this was just a decoy base by the looks of things. It's not a worry, but it does mean there's... Like, what is this? Is this theirs as well? Raiders unite, like... Oh, he was in here. Oh! Um... Don't mind me. <laughs> or donut me. Dude, he has he has like bacon overlord stuff. I don't even know how to react. I've had this. I've just What do I say? Whoa whoa <laughs> Oh my god, so many electronics. Okay, well I basically gathered everything important. I am now so rich. What was that gear I got off him? It's just a full set of origin, 9-7, uh, no, that's bad, 2000, yeah, better, better, well, it's all just better, to be honest, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> well, we're just, um, we're end game. well, gear-wise, we're end game. we've also got a tech suit we can use, and we have a bunch of tames, where's the bacon overlord thing, here it is, and now we can traverse the map at 2000 million, Wait, this ain't... Wait, this ain't the griffin. Wait, this this ain't the griffin. Oh, here's the griffin one. Okay. Right, I got a bit worried then that I didn't have it. Nice, Beast Boy clone. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know why people just log off in stone bases, but I guess I do the exact same sometimes, so... Easy. This guy logged on. Oh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess he was not logged on. Um, that's sad. So, after a rough few days on this server, we finally hit the jackpot and actually found someone who was just simply being stupid and logging off not with turrets. Now, if we didn't find this body, we probably wouldn't progress at all in this mod as a... Yeah, Primal Eternal is proving to uh, actually do very good this time and beat me. But anyways, I went to Red Obelisk and crafted myself a tech grep so we could finally get towards crafting other tech tier stuff and the OP tech turrets we needed. And then whilst I was out venturing, I would discover another Titan. Bro, what is this? Oh. There's just a forest Titan. What the? And now forest Titan dead. Okay, never mind. I just lost the bacon griffin. <laughs> uh, I flew past a hole in the wall and there's apparently a base in there. It one bulleted it. We would have never ran a turret base with that, that's for sure. It literally got one tapped. So I don't know how you raid on this server. 
You're probably just as confused as I was. I was basically just flying through Highlands Any and wanted to go check the water cave. And upon seeing that there wasn't a water entrance, I was just walking along the beach. And then, uh, yeah, I got sprayed through this hole. I tried to send some of the OP primal rockets I had to try and drop some of it, but there was actually no hope of me doing anything. And I just lost one of the best dinos in the game without duping it. I also went over to Lava Cave, which had now also been built in as well to try this golem. And, uh, yeah. Bro, tames just die in one bullet. Ah. Uh, well, it was nice having this guy for one second. I guess penguins are probably the only thing we can use. But anyways, I think this is a good place to end off this video. Main reason being is I didn't exactly experience any more action on this Primal Eternal server over the last like couple days. It's kind of dead and uh, yeah, there's not much to do that I can do. So um, take care everyone and I guess I'll see you in the next video.